A woman has proposed to a man after she ran a race at the Olympics. This clip has gone viral. A lovely looking gal uh, runs off the track and then pulls a ring. I assume it's a ring. I don't know. Do you propose to a man with a ring? I don't know. Maybe you propose to a man with a Rolex or a Patek Philippe or something. I don't know what you do. But she pulls out, I guess, a ring and proposes to this man And then the man accepts the proposal from his girlfriend, and they kiss and they hug. This is pretty par for the course for the 2024 Olympics. A lot of gender bending going on at the 2024 Olympics. A lot of weird, decadent kind of stuff from the opening ceremonies through the boxing, now into the marriage proposal at the races. So why is this wrong? Because there are going to be be a lot of people out there. I'm not just talking about the libs. I'm talking about the centrists and the moderates and even center-right who say, hey, Michael, what is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong, you fuddy-duddy, you old-fashioned radical extremist. What is wrong with a man proposing, a woman proposing marriage to a man? Look, we all know it's a little weird. And we all have an intuition that it's wrong for a woman to propose to a man. We all just kind of know intuitively that a man is supposed to propose marriage to a woman. And you might not be able to articulate the precise reasons why that is, but we all know it intuitively. And many of the people who are going to be criticizing me for raising any questions about this also agree with me, but they just, they don't give themselves permission to admit it because they can't write some perfectly rational treatise about why a dude should propose to chicks and not the other way around. You're, you're going to deny that intuition. But there are perfectly rational reasons as to why this tradition of men proposing to women has come around. One would be men tend to be the less eager party when it comes to getting married. You might say that's wrong and that's bad and that's terrible, but it's, tr- it's true. It goes back to when you were five years old. Not one five-year-old boy in the history of the world has ever dreamt about his wedding day. Most five-year-old girls dream about their wedding day. That's just, that's just kind of how we're built. That's how we're wired. You might complain about that. Libs complain about these things. Libs complain about nature and reality a lot, and they're discontented with it, and they try to revolutionize it and upend reality. But that's, it, it, just, it just do be like that, okay? Men are the less eager party when it comes to getting married, so men are the ones who take the initiative when it comes to getting married. Say, okay, we're the ones who have to get over this hump of maybe not wanting to commit and get married, so we're going to be the ones to propose. Another one, men are taking more of a financial risk, generally, because men tend, not all the time, these days it's less common, but men often are the breadwinners, so they're taking more of a financial risk here, so they're the one proposing. Furthermore, forget about who's the breadwinner. Men are, men are taking upon themselves by proposing the emotional risk. Because you get a man on his knees and proposes, and sometimes the woman says, nah, sorry, no thanks. There's a clip from, uh, I think it was UFC or what, one of the pro fighting leagues, where a, a fighter proposed to his girlfriend right after the fight, and she said no, and he was just devastated. <laughs> He's so broken down about it. But a man takes that risk, and it's okay. Whereas if a, could you imagine how sad that would be? A woman comes to you, she proposes marriage and you say, "Mm, no. And then you have to watch this woman just bawling and crying and humiliated and embarrassed. No, men take that risk on. Men and women are different. Go to puretalk.com slash Knowles. There's only one cell phone company that gives you free premium access to the media that you actually care about. It's Pure Talk. When you switch your cell phone service to Pure Talk on a qualifying plan, you will get a free one-year insider subscription to Daily Wire Plus. Take advantage of unlimited talk, unlimited text, 15 gigs of data, and mobile hotspot on America's most dependable 5G network for just 35 bucks a month. And you will get one year free of Daily Wire Plus. The Daily Wire Plus insider plan gets you access to our entire library of movies, series, and documentaries, including Lady Ballers, What is a Woman, Mr. Burcham, Run, Hot Fight, and more. Plus, you will get all our daily shows uncensored and ad-free. The only way you can get this special offer is by going to puretalk.com slash Knowles. I've been telling you to stop overpaying for your cell phone plan for a long time. If you've not made the switch over to Pure Talk yet, now is the time. 
Go to puretalk.com slash Knowles today. Switch to a qualifying plan. Get one year free of Daily Wire Plus Insider. You thought Kamala was a radical on abortion? Just wait until you hear what Tim Waltz has done. The man that Kamala chose for her running mate as governor of Minnesota not only advanced abortion, not only promoted killing babies, he repealed protections for babies born alive after surviving abortions. So Minnesota had, had protections on the books. If, if a baby survived an abortion attempt, at the very least, the, the death of that baby would have to be recorded. Even if the baby was left to die on the table, which is awful, really, you should give medical care to that baby rather than just let it cry out and scream until it finally dies of neglect after it did not die of, of murder, of a very active killing. Uh, at, at the very least, Minnesota was tracking these numbers. Tim Waltz repeals that. Waltz, in May of 2023, stripped the straight state's requirement that measures be taken to preserve the baby's life and health, merely replaced it with a nebulous requirement for care. This is the kind of care that Ralph Northam, governor of Virginia, promoted when he said, well, look, if a baby survives an abortion attempt, then, uh, you know, he's going to be born and we're going to put that, we're going to make that baby comfortable and we're going to have a conversation with the mothers and we're going to see if we need to snuff out that little baby's life out there uh, on the table. We're going to have a conversation about that. That's Tim Waltz. This is fourth trimester abortion. This is post-birth abortion. Post-birth abortion used to be the punchline to a dark joke. All these Democrats, they, they're so pro-abortion, they support post-birth abortion. Oh, wow, it's a, dark, it's a dark joke. That is literally what Tim Waltz has put into law. He supports killing babies who are born alive. Tim Waltz, they're, they're trying to paint Tim Waltz as Santa Claus. They're trying to paint him as this big, happy Midwestern grandpa. You know, all the kids love him. Tim Waltz seems to take a real bizarre interest in kids, which we discussed on the show yesterday. But they're trying to paint him as this big, happy guy. Tim Waltz put into law provisions that say, if you, if you try to murder a baby and the baby survives and you hear the baby screaming for his mother, screaming for care, screaming for any, any uh, comfort whatsoever, any help whatsoever on a table, you can just ignore those cries until the baby dies. That's, that's the compassion that you're getting from Tim Waltz and Kamala Harris and the Democrat ticket. Pretty ghastly stuff. I know that abortion can be a politically powerful issue for the Democrats because a lot of people don't think about it too much and they just think in the liberal terms of choice, you know, individual autonomy or whatever. I don't think post-birth abortion plays in the Rust Belt. I don't think post-birth abortion plays among suburban moms. I think, I don't know, you, if, if the Democrats really want to make abortion a front and center issue, you talk about how this Democrat ticket wants babies who survive murder attempts to be killed out in the world. I, I don't think that's going to work for them. That was a great clip. Hold up, ring the bell, subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.